everybody! Welcome to Shalom Alekum. So today is the last day I'll be uploading a video about neurological health for Tourette's Syndrome Awareness Month. Now, that's not to say I won't talk about it in the future, in fact I probably will, but for now we're gonna take a break and we're gonna talk about mental illness from this point forward. But for this last video today, I'm gonna be talking about tics again. And what about tics, you may ask? I'm gonna have I already said everything there is to say? <laughs> no, not even close. However, today I'm going to be talking about natural treatments for tics. Now a lot of people are under the assumption that tics and Tourette syndrome are incurable and they're all genetic and the only thing you can do to get rid of the tics is to suppress them using strong medication. However, doctors and patients alike have found that there are natural things people can do to reduce their tics. Latitudes.org is a great organization that talks about neurological and mental health from a natural perspective. So instead of finding articles about medications on their website, they're probably more likely to talk about natural treatments for mental illness. If you're not into natural medicine, then you might think this is just a load of mumbo jumbo, but hey, stick around because some of these things don't even involve supplements or anything like that. But Latitudes has this great infographic all about what to do and not do when you get diagnosed with Tourette syndrome or tics. I'm going to go through some of these points today and basically talk about things that people with Tourette syndrome or tics can do to try to reduce their tics. The first thing to know is that the natural waxing and waning of tics might not be so uncontrollable after all. It's not a mysterious process nobody knows the answer to. There are actually many environmental triggers for tics that go beyond stress, fatigue, and anxiety that could be causing the waxing and waiting. Taking off my glasses because I'm getting too sweaty. All right. <laughs> So how do we find out which environmental triggers trigger you? One way to know is to keep a journal. Use this journal to know if food, allergens, chemical exposures, or sensory issues may be aggravating your tics. I can leave an example of one of these journals in the description below. You should also consider seeing a doctor to see if any nutrient imbalances or allergies or infections may be aggravating the symptoms. Also see a neurologist to rule out any physical conditions that may be causing your tics. One thing to know about going the natural route is to know that not all natural therapies are safe and effective. Maybe it's not the best idea to just go off and buy something online just because you heard it can help ticks. On the other hand, it might be helpful to speak with a naturopathic doctor, if not see one. They will know all the latest in natural medicine and know how to give you stuff that's going to work for you or your child. Other than things inside our body, it may be helpful to get rid of scented items and anything toxic to the nervous system such as pesticides and standard cleansers. Thankfully, there are some pretty great alternatives to standard cleansers on the market. All in all, it's important that we look at our tics as a symptom of imbalance in the body, something that needs to be addressed and can be fixed not just something that needs to be subdued by drugs. And please, whatever you do, do not listen to any doctor that says there is no cure. There are things you can do to limit your tics, if not get rid of them completely. And a lot of conventional medicine doesn't agree with that, but Latitudes.org has some great articles explaining how and why this stuff works for tics. So that's my last video for Tourette Syndrome Awareness Month. I wanted to do something that really ties it all together, all that we've been talking about throughout this whole month where we've been talking about tics and neurological health. I figured this would kind of wrap it up very well. So thank you guys for watching. I'm recording, I forget. I did it again. I always forget, like I sit down and I press record, well, first I press record, then I sit down, then I, I focus, but as I'm focusing, I'm like, did I actually press record? And it's kind of OCD, because I gotta go check. Sometimes I check one of the ones. I'm sweaty. <laughs> it's so hot, it gets so hot. It's not even, I don't even have professional lighting, but it just gets so hot with this lamp. It's like from Walmart or something. All right.